Welcome to the WCC Halftime Report. I am Ray Crawford. We'll get you back to the arena in a few moments, but let's take some time to catch up with the Pacific Tigers, who, like last year at this time, already have nine wins under their belt. Ron Verlin is their head coach, and we're pleased to have him with us from Stockton. And, Coach, you're working with a number of new players this season. Where have you seen the most improvement from your team from game one until now? Well, I think the, uh, the biggest thing is we've, we've rebounded the ball very well. Um, especially in the non-conference season, I thought our guys did an outstanding job of really controlling the boards. And um, now in conference play, it hasn't been quite the same. But but in non-conference play, and, and from where I thought we'd be at the start of the year, we've done a great job rebounding the ball. Now, where do you think that you still want to see some growth, though, in your club? Well, shooting percentage. I mean, we've got to shoot the ball at a higher level, uh, both from the two and from the three. Although the three, we've been pretty solid. But we've got to increase our two-point field goal percentage. And then our defense... Uh, I thought in the preseason we were outstanding defensively, and now we're not playing as quite as good as defense because we're playing some better offensive teams, and we're playing in a very good conference that shoots the ball very well. So we got to do a better job of defending and protecting what we call the red zone, and uh, we got to do a better job of that. This is your second season as head coach, but you've been at Pacific since 1994. What's your favorite memory from your time there in Stockton? Well. My, my favorite memory, and I've got a, quite a few to be honest with you, but my favorite memory comes back when uh, we were able to beat Utah State in a game, a conference game, that we were ranked uh, 20th in the country, and we were able, we were down seven with 27 seconds left to go in the game, and we win the game in regulation. It was by far my favorite memory, and I think the biggest reason of that was because my brother Don who's the head coach of Idaho, was sitting on the other sidelines at Utah State. How about that? You mentioned your, your brother, Don, your twin brother, uh, by the way. Is there a rivalry between the two of you, and how have you pushed each other over the years to be better coaches? Well, there's definitely a rivalry whenever we play one-on-one, -on -one, which we don't do much of that anymore. But, uh, but when we get on the court against each other, absolutely, you never want to lose to your brother. Um, I think over the years we've been, we've been great help to one another, whether it's you know, uh, becoming a head coach and learning what, what the responsibilities are from an assistant to a head coach, but also we help each other a ton with uh, sharing ideas because now we go through a lot of the same, we have a lot of the same issues, so we're able to work together that way. So he's been a huge asset uh, to me in my career. Now, twins always have stories, Coach, of being confused for the other or, or playing practical jokes. What's the best switcheroo story for the Verland twins? <laughs> can I, I don't know if I can tell that on air. I mean, <laughs> all right, how about, how about one you can tell on air? <laughs> um, you know, there, there's been all kinds of uh, things uh, that you do along the way. Um, but you know where you, you you switch or you talk to someone and you're acting like him, especially like younger when we were you know out dating girls and we weren't married or something. You so if someone called and you're at the home uh, back then, remember you only had one phone at the house, so you know I could act as Don and I could be talking to his girlfriend or something like that. So, uh, but the hardest thing in coaching right now that we deal with is like say I'm out in in an area recruiting and a guy will come up and talk to me and I've never met the guy I have no idea who he is and he knows Don and he's known him for five years and so that's but that's always really difficult and you kind of have to explain to him that hey uh you know that's my brother who's in Idaho you know so that's the hardest thing we deal with and you're the one without the mustache right I, you think they could figure <laughs> that stuff out huh I mean uh that's the only way to keep us different you know so but uh um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's always a tough deal because people, or they think you yeah, got coach never spoke to me. Well, God, you didn't know who that person was. Yeah. Oh, coach, great stuff. Thanks so much for the time. Best of luck to you the rest of this season. Thank you very much. That will do it for our WCC halftime report. I'm Ray Crawford. Enjoy the second half.